All right, let's talk about the book of Boba Fett. All right, if you guys are not watching this thing right now, it is crazy. So, the book of Boba Fett, in my opinion, is um is more interesting to me than the man interesting to me than the Mandalorian for a couple reasons. A, it's following a character I already know, and for me, especially for me. This char- this actress, her name is uh, Ming Na Wen. I'm I'm probably murdering this name. Ming Na Wen. She was in Agents of Shield. She's also in The Mandalorian and in Book of Book of Boba Fett. Very interesting. And she's awesome. Like I love her as an actress. I think she's fantastic. Um. And so far, I am absolutely enthralled by the Book of Boba Fett. It's gonna be. It, I I cannot wait to see more. Now, what I'm worried about is that there are not a lot of episodes. Um, and I hope that I hope that they're able to expand the universe the way they plan to in the limited amount of, limited amount of episodes they have left. That's my opinion. But this article is talking about the stars on their improbable journey to the center of the Star Wars galaxy. And this is what it says. Star Wars may be a galaxy where no one is ever really gone, but Tamira Morrison, I'm probably murdering this name, and Ming-Na Wen, my God, their journey to the book of Boba Fett still defied the most improbable odds. Their characters, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand, were both left for dead on the dangerous sands of Tatooine and were eventually revived by Jon Favreau's The Mandalorian. The franchise's first live-action series, in Wen's case, her master assassin's character was brought back to life by Fett himself after her demise in Mandalorian Season 1, The Gunslinger. With Shan now indebted to Fett, the duo commands commandeered Jabba's palace in The Mandalorian Season 2, Coda, which set up the book of Boba Fett and the reign atop the throne that once belonged to the Tatooine crime crime lord, Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, that pretty much sums up what's going on. So, some people, some friends of ours are, have issue with the Mandalorian for some reason. Um, I think that some of their criticisms are just sort of silly. I'll tell you why. Some people are talking about how the man, like how Boba Fett is, you know, you know, it's more swole and like fatter than he was in the movie. That's a stupid criticism. Obviously, it's been like 30 something years. The guy is going to look a little different. His body's going to look different. Um, I know there's ways around that, but I think that we could just understand that as a factor and still enjoy the show. Um, I watched the first two episodes and I don't see anything. I don't see anything wrong with any of it. Like there's no like overt political messaging or anything like that. It seems like they're just building a world and the world is fascinating. This is the world of the original series, the, the original movies that we all like. Um, I don't see a problem with it whatsoever. In fact, I'm, I can't wait for more. I'm digging it. It's the first time I've watched Star Wars or anything Star Wars related in years now that I actually enjoy and I can't wait to see more of. I like the Mandalorian, but I didn't connect with any of the characters like I do with Boba Fett. So while it was okay, like I liked it, I didn't necessarily love it per se. I do love this. So I think that if you are on the fence, you're like, I don't want to waste my time with more Star Wars. Well, this is not, this is not like Star Wars that we've been getting. This is definitely a much cooler take on Star Wars. It's, it's, it's more, it's like the Mandalorian. And I hope that Boba, I hope that the Obi-Wan TV show when it comes out is going to be like that too. I hope Obi-Wan Mandalorian and the book of Boba Fett are all in that same style where it's, not really family friendly. It's more like, hey, here's a, here's Rogue One as a TV show. It's, it's, it reminds me of that. Very Rogue One, again, it's style. Anyways, 
Check it out, guys. I If you haven't seen it, go watch it. If you have seen it, let us know what you thought in the comment section down below. And on the way down there, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, let us know um, how you feel about... Uh, what's his name? I'm sorry. Tamora Morrison? And his overall portrayal of, I guess, I guess Boba Fett, and then Jango Fett, and now Boba Fett. Um, some people are maybe criticizing his acting ability, and I'm sure that's valid. But I can also get past most most of like how stiff he is because you know it's Boba Fett, and to be honest, you know Ming not win is awesome. So let me know what you guys think about Tamira Moda. Tamira Morrison and Ming Na Wen in this show. <clears throat> and if you're excited to see more, um, are you looking forward to, the, to more? Have you seen it yet? If you're not, let us know in the comment section down below.